solar energy and insulation like any other star in the universe the head of the solar system the Sun also emits energy continuously and our planet the earth which is a member of the solar family receives it the energy constantly emitted by the Sun is called solar radiation heat is constantly generated inside the Sun which is a gigantic gaseous sphere through a process called nuclear fusion which is radiated into space our planet receives only a minute fraction 1 by 2000 millionth part of it due to its small size and its great distance from the Sun insulation the incoming solar radiation is called insulation this quantity of insulation received is called the solar constant for the earth the proportion of radiation reflected to the amount received is called the albedo it is expressed in percentage points it is observed that the amount of insulation received by an area is influenced mainly by the following factors the angle of incidence the duration of daylight the distance between the earth and the Sun and the transparency of the atmosphere 1 the angle of incidence the inclination of the Sun's rays affects the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth's surface in two ways if the angle of incidence is high the intensity of insulation is more during the same day in the evening when the Sun is low in the horizon the temperature dwindle it is because the angle of incidence is low likewise the tropical zone within which the vertical rays of the Sun traverse is hotter than the polar or torrid zone where the Sun's rays always are inclined and hence are cooler 2 the duration of the daylight we have already learned that the Sun is the natural furnace that heats up the earth's surface so the longer the area that receives the sunlight the greater is the amount of insulation our planet rotates on an inclined axis which is responsible for the seasons the days are longer during the summer and shorter during the winter as we move away from the equator and so is insulation which is greater during the summer and lesser during the winter the distance between the earth and the Sun the average distance between the earth and the Sun is 149.5 million kilometers it ranges between 152 million kilometers at Aflion July 4th and 147 million kilometers at perihelion January 3rd and due to this meager variation in the distance the earth receives a little more insulation in January than in July the transparency of the atmosphere transparency of the atmosphere plays a prominent role on the amount of solar energy received by an area the amount of cloud cover dust water vapor and certain gases causing air pollution are some of the factors that determine the transparency of the atmosphere they affect the reflection absorption and transmission of the solar radiation 